afternoon everybody, what is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media and today we are going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions video about what's inside this box. Now before we get into it, you can probably already tell what I'm actually going to be talking about by the title of this video, but the reason I went with such a product to check out is I'm getting heavy into one bag travel. And when you have a larger bag like 35, 40 liters to carry all of your stuff in, once you reach your destination, you're gonna still need a day pack because you're not gonna wanna lug that 40 liter backpack around the city or hiking in the woods if you're just gonna do some day hiking. So you're gonna want something like a packable day pack to just roll up, fold up, put a stuff sack, stuff inside one of its own pockets and stick inside that 40 liter bag so you got something that you can utilize once you get there. So today we're gonna be cracking open this box from Spivo and uh, doing a quick once over before we actually dig into a real user review. So let's uh, crack this puppy open and see what we got. We gotta be a little extra careful because there's definitely fabric inside this little box. So uh, we gotta PSA, once you get done using your knife to open the box, always close and put the knife away so you don't leave it on the table and then accidentally stab yourself later on. All right, the destination 22 liter by Spivo. I like this little uh, map that's on the stuff sack as well as the uh, the label. And uh, before I even open the bag, I like this little loop right here. It's an exterior loop. It's not, you don't have to use the, the actual tail of the uh, closure strap. It's got its own little loop. So if you were going to lash this to the outside of your larger travel bag, you can just stick a carabiner through here and put it through maybe some of those daisy chains or a compression strap, something like that. So I do like this little loop. Weight wise, it's not too heavy. It does have a little bit of weight to it. It's not ultra light by any means, but it's also not heavy by any means. So it's a, it's a good size to throw in your bag and the weight's not gonna bring you down, but uh, you're gonna maybe know that you got this in your bag. So let's uh, crack her on open and see what the actual bag itself looks like. If I can get it without getting the tail on the way. Okay, so the bag is connected. The stuff sack is connected to the bag. So that's good because now you don't have to worry about losing the stuff sack because it is connected to the inside of the main compartment of the bag. So you guess you just uh, stick it inside when you're done. Now these are weather sealed zippers. The main zipper is a weather sealed zipper and it is, it's not a clamshell opener, it's a, it's a half zip. All right, so. It is a little difficult because the zipper is stiff and new and it's weather sealed. So sometimes you're gonna have a little bit of issue getting them to open. But inside the bag we have this one little nifty pocket that uh, I will show you in a minute here. It does have it does have a laptop sleeve as well. So if you are traveling with tech, it's not padded because this is a packable bag. So if this was a padded laptop sleeve, you uh, you wouldn't really be able to pack this bag so nicely. And there is another zipper pocket up here. So already there's a fair amount of organization with this bag. I mean, if you're not carrying tech, you can always stick like a travel journal or just use this for divider separation. And on the outside, we have a front pocket, also with a weather sealed zipper. We have a kind of like sideways zip pocket here. Again, weather sealed zipper that goes, let's see, it's probably, we'll say midway across the back and it goes to this bottom seam here. So that's nice. We have 
dual water bottle pockets here on either side. Now these do feel kind of tight at the top, so you're probably not going to fit like a 32 ounce Nalgene in there. But something like uh, the Camelback that I use, which is, I forget the size of it. Uh, I think I went with like the middle of the road one because they make it in a couple different sizes. That would probably fit in here no problem. Uh, again, the big Nalgene, don't think so. Maybe over time if it stretches, but I still think the fabric itself might not have enough give to put those big 32 ounce Nalgene's. Now there's this nifty pocket here. This is what they were calling the quick access pocket. And the reason this is kind of cool is because that inside pocket, it's accessible. So if you have something like one of their selfie sticks, like in this little clip here, you can quick access that without going inside the bag. So that's kind of cool. You can keep your uh, your GoPro stashed inside the bag, but still get it, not have to stick it in one of these outside bottle holder pockets where it's a little more susceptible for being stolen. It also has compression straps on the side that do come off, so they're not... Yeah, neither of the ends are folded over. So it is just a, it's it's like heat sealed at the end so it's not gonna fray, but it's not like sewn over. Like sometimes you got that little nubbin sewn on the end so you can't completely open the uh, compression straps. Now it makes so it's, it's not gonna be as quick to take it off and put it back on if it had something like a, a one inch buckle, but that would probably increase the, well definitely would increase the cost. So you're gonna lose a little bit of speed, but I do like how it is actually you can completely open it up because uh, if you're like me and you don't always use the compression straps, it kind of gets in the way. Um, these ones don't actually go over the zipper though. So you can see the bag does unzip and the compression straps not on the inside. Which sometimes the compression strap gets in the way if it's on the other side of the zipper, then you can't unzip the bag other way, especially if it's a clamshell style bag or even these half zips like you could see here, here's the bottom of the zipper and here's the compression strap. So if this compression strap was on the other side of the zipper, I would have to either kind of take it apart or kind of stick my hand inside the compression strap to get the, uh, the bag zippered and unzippered. Now I believe we have, we do. We have a uh, rear safety pocket. I like these a lot. These are great for traveling, especially if you're doing foreign travel. You can keep currency, your cell phone, your passport. I always carry my passport in this, these kind of concealed back pockets when I carry international now domestic because in pennsylvania they just initiated real id so i now have to get a new driver's license to use if i would like to board a flight even domestic so every time i hop on an airplane i have to bring my passport because i do not have a real id yet because my driver's license does not expire for another year so this pocket is uh it's super handy for me even domestic flights now i would stick my passport in there because uh, it's kind of a sensitive document. I don't like to leave that at the hotel. And usually when I'm out, I don't leave my bag anywhere that I'm not at or my wife is not at. So the bag is always on me. Now these straps are very light and airy. They're actually a mesh. So there's not much padding, but again, this is a packable bag. So uh, you don't really want too much padding because that takes away from the whole fact that the bag is packable. I do like the uh, sternum strap. It's a little security whistle and it's orange. So you kind of know what it is. Not always going to use that, but I do like to have that little whistle there just in case. Whether it's myself in danger, someone else in danger, or an emergency situation where I need to signal that, uh, that we need the help down here, I, uh, I like to have 
that whistle. It's, it doesn't take much extra. It takes pretty much no extra space. It's just built right into the sternum strap and it's on the sternum, so it's easily accessible if I'm wearing it. Grab it, blow it, good to go. Let's, uh, let's toss the bag on real quick. No weight in the bag, we'll just kind of see how it, it hangs. It comes to right above, here's my belt line. It comes to right above it, so that's good. So that means it's not going to be rubbing on my lower back when I'm walking. Here's the bag, here's my belt line. Sternum strap is adjustable. You can just slide it up or down. And it is removable from the loop that it's on, so you could put it on any of these other two daisy chain loops. So I'm gonna go ahead and test out the Spivo Day Pack. I'm going to be traveling with this bag probably next month. Uh, the only thing that so far I'm seeing as a negative, I, it's not a total negative, but I like that the, pou the pouch is attached and it does go inside the bag but I personally prefer to not have like an extra pouch. I wish it would pack into one of its own pockets. I just think that just less is more because that way it's, it's just more functional because it's less that I have to worry about. Normally, if this pouch wasn't connected, I would just, I just wouldn't use this at all. I would either just roll it up into a ball and stick it in my bag or I would just, like lay it flat in the back of my bag, which is what I've done with some packable bags in the past. But uh, I haven't had one that I've liked, so when the opportunity to test this one came out, I said, yeah, I definitely want to uh, I want to check this out because uh, I, need, I need that packable bag that I can just throw in my larger backpack so I don't have to always use a roller bag. If I'm going away for like, a week or more or international travel, I'm probably gonna use a roller bag and just have a backpack on my back. But some of the local trips, like I'm going to the shore for a week in the summer, I'm gonna go to Philly for a couple days next month. Uh, something like this is perfect because I'm just gonna bring a big backpack that's probably gonna have my clothes, my wife's clothes, and probably another bag for the baby's clothes. I don't think I fit all three of her clothes in there, but to have something like this that I can then throw inside that bag so I don't have to carry an additional backpack on top of the additional backpack I gotta carry. I mean, it's just less less to carry overall. And the size of this, it's, it says it's 22 liters, but that's, that's pretty big. I'm gonna wager I can fit plenty in this. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications that come out to post a brand new video like the real user review of the Spivo 22 liter day pack. Good night.